baby. There ain't a better trade to be had. You better realize what he became on that cross so that you be can become the son of God through his blood. Ah, I'm talking there ain't a better trade. And I pray today's the day you're willing to make it. You've gone too long thinking God has forsaken you. Listen to me, he's crying out to you right now. Where are you at? You best know better than that. I do everything for you. Blood, sweat, and tears, sent my own son, nailed to a cross, humiliated a criminal's death, and my man rose victorious just to gain you. The veil's been split, son. Where are you at? More importantly, where you want to be? You want to wallow in that pit? You want to stay there? That's your choice because another way has been made. His name is Jesus. He is the only way that's been made. So if you stay there, that's on you because I want you up and out. I sent a savior. I sent my son and he became what you are now so that you can become what he was. My son, the righteousness of me, the fullness of me. You just gotta want it. What you want, where are you at? You want to spend the rest of your life thinking God has forsaken you? That's that heart of stone talking. And he wants to rip that thing straight about you. And he wants to give you that heart of flesh. But it's your choice. You're the one that's got to submit to him. You're the one that's got to hit the knees in repentance for them sins. You're the one that's got to want a heart of flesh. He can't. He a gentleman with it. I mean, he coming like a charging bull, but he's still a gentleman. He only gives what you want him to give. But if you want forgiveness of sins, baby, he's got to lavish on. He wants to, he longed to, that's what his whole incentive is. He was waiting for that veil to be torn because he wanted to come through it. That veil wasn't just holding us back from God, it was holding God back from us. But sin has been conquered, death has been overcome, the devil is a defeated foe, and he comes to reign. If you will let him, all you gotta do is believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and you will be saved. Your heart will no longer cry, why have you forsaken me? you will realize that Jesus took your place and now you're going to cry out, Abba, Father. You're going to have the testimony that you are a child of the Most High. You're going to stand as royalty, walk out as an ambassador. Your life gets to change. More importantly, your heart gets changed by the hand of God himself who has been waiting all eternity just to do it to you. Like he wants to save you. And the proof is by the Son he sent. Undeniable fact verified Jesus was hung that you might rise dare to meet him that he might rise you